Do you ever sneak in acoustic guitar tracks onto rock songs to give more of a percussive element to the song? I love that, and you can do it as a 57. Uh, 57s are really good at that, actually, if you get them all off the, the body, um, onto the neck, like 12, even 5th fret. I go pretty far sometimes. The secret, though, is the, the player has to be doing percussive stuff. I do it with condensers, too, but uh, I'll... I, we had a, uh, a you might have been here for this. I don't remember. Uh, we had a uh, guitar player, uh, acoustic guy, and uh, he was strumming, and uh, he would just beat the hell out. I was like, all right. We had that attacky sound. So I used to kind of be big on you got to be really delicate. That is it. <laughs> what I found in my room was it just invited mud and acoustic. Where did we go with this? So when the attack just hit that damn thing. Well, anyway, there's a part that. A complex part. We had another guy here, and he, he's a lot more of a light player, but he was, you know, extremely a talented guy. And so he was going to play this one section. Well, I'm like, dude, hit it harder. And he's like, I don't know, if, I don't feel comfortable really. Like, dude, just beat that guitar up. Let's go. And um, he never had the tone. And he's, <laughs> this guy has tone. I mean, he was kind of a, 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 an incredible player, but um, the percussive sound that we needed for that track, I, I ended up having the, the crappy guy uh, redo it. As I say crappy, he was fine. Had the less talented guy just because he sounded good. He was hitting it right. So, yeah, percussive tracks, um, if you do it right, we got lots of that a click and lots of that attack going. It can be very useful for add to a, a uh, woo, possibly my beer. I mean, root beer. <laughs> so my root beer. <laughs> Uh, for adding uh, impact or, or uh, speed to a song, just or a sense of speed, just like a double time hi hat or something like that. Very useful trick.